Um, steering, really light. Let's actually see how the acceleration is. Oh yeah. Hey everyone, it's Ben Hardy here, and in today's gonna to be reviewing the all new GMC Sierra 1500 Elevation. First and foremost though, a huge shout out and thank you to the National GMC here in American Fork, Utah for giving me some time with this truck. I'm gonna include a link to their inventory in the description down below so you can check out what they have currently. If you have any questions or you need any help, just ask for David. And then on a side note, if you wanna save time and money the next time you purchase a car, link to my car buying guide in the description down below. Let's get into it. Under the hood, we have a Natchi aspirated 5.3 liter V8 that goes through a 10 speed automatic transmission. Fuel economy is 14 around town and then 19 on the highway, with power puts being 355 horsepower and then 383 pound feet of torque. Before I go over the front end, I do want to mention if you want to see more videos just like this, then I recommend you subscribe because I post content every single day. Now here's a quick look at the hood. You guys can see we have a lot of flat surfaces here on the hood, but notice that you do have, you know, some like lowered parts and some raised parts, so it looks pretty interesting overall. Now the front end of this elevation is pretty sweet. We've got the LED daytime running lights with the headlights. Notice you've got that accenting there at the front of the hood, and then you can see with the grill, it's all blacked out. The GMC logo is also darker, and then you've got the bumper that's darker. We do have tow hooks and fog lights. They're kind of hard to see because of the lighting right now, and then also that blacked out accent piece right there. And when you pull it all together, this truck definitely looks pretty mean and aggressive. Come around the side here, our tire and wheel setup is 275, 60, 20 in the front and over in the rear as well. You can see the wheels all blacked out and you know, quite a bit of sidewall on those tires actually. Now, since this has the X31 package, it has off-road tuned suspension, these all-terrain tires and well, skid plate protection underneath. We have a few cool elements here on the side, including this 5.3 V8 badge, elevation badge as well, and then the X31 badge all the way there in the back. Now here's our full side view, and you guys can see the blacked out elements definitely bring it together. We do have those fixed side steps, and this is an extended cab, which is actually pretty rare. So here's our key fob. We have our unlock function, our lock function, remote start, and then the drop down for the tailgate. We'll press that a couple times, and it'll pop it right down. Now here in the bed, we have a payload capacity of 1,623 pounds and then a towing capacity of 9,200 pounds. And there are some other cool elements here like these LED lights and then you got the full outlet down below. And then last thing before we close up the bed, it is over six feet in length and boom. And then we do just have the like base taillights here with this elevation. You guys can see again with the darker badging here on the back. And then look at the like squished exhaust tips there on the bottom with the little bumper steps. Altogether, I think that this truck actually looks pretty dang good on the outside. With the door panel on the rear, we still have wood trim here, and then you guys can see the double stack design with the whole armrest situation, then our window control. Now this does have cloth seats as part of the elevation package, and pretty cool pattern there in the center, and you can also lift up the seat. Legroom is pretty decent here in the back of this extended cab. Headroom is also pretty decent. We do have storage pockets here for the rear passengers and they get their own little charging area with some vents. Now the front door panel has the same material use and design as the rear, just a little bit larger. All of our window controls, notice that front driver one is automatic mirror adjustments and then the mirrors do have like a convex mirror to help out with the blind spot. Front seats are cloth just like the rear and you have that same design on the center of the seat and then power adjustments on the side. Got our hood latch release down below and then we have our light controls here. Notice you can also put the fog light on with that. And then our drive line select. This has auto, four wheel high, four wheel low, and then two wheel high. And then you got your drive mode select with your trailer tow mode and then your parking brake. Steering wheel is manually adjustable. Nice soft touch trim all around the steering wheel, darker stitching there in the center portion. I think this trim's pretty cool right here. Rated controls on the back. We do have our heat steering wheel control, cruise control, voice command controls, controls for the center. I should say voice command control rather than controls. Anyways, turn signal slash windshield wiper stock, and then we have a good old fashioned column shifter for that 10 speed that does have a manual shift function. Full digital gauge cluster here with the GMC Sierra, and you can scroll through some different menus here in the center to see different bits of info on systems of the truck, like the music navigation, or just general info on the truck, like, hey, what's your fuel economy? Again, we do have those different drive modes. So we got that tow haul mode, and it gives you a cool animation there. And then we also have a sport mode, and then we have an off-road mode as well. We have a backup camera here with trajectory lines that turn with the steering wheel resolution solid and you've got that trailer tow mode which just puts a line there in the center. 
The infotainment system is really easy to use. You have a shortcut bar here on the side. You've got the main screen, which as you can see, response time is great. It has Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. And then you have this auxiliary screen here, which you can just change to be a clock, for example. There's just a shortcut button for the home screen and the infotainment system, your volume control. And then we've got lane departure, auto stop start, tailgate, drop down, hazard lights, stability control, and then that's your hill descent control. Nice wood trim here on the dash. And notice the silver trim kind of wraps around and you do have nice padding and stitching here at the top of the dash as well. Dual zone climate controls here with heated seats. Notice you can do the whole seat or just part of the seat if you want. And then that's right next to the engine stop start. And it's all on like piano black trim, which is kind of interesting. And then USBs off to the side. This particular truck has a bench seat configuration. Notice you've got the cup holders there on the top. You can lift up the seat for, well, another thing. And then we have even more storage space underneath. Double glove box situation. So just press that, it'll pop that open and then pull that down and pretty straight forward. And then up top, we do have a manual mirror dimmer and well, the rear glass is fixed. So this is a double cab standard box, if you guys are wondering. Three year, 36,000 mile bumper to bumper warranty, five year, 60,000 mile on the powertrain, base MSRP, 51,600, total MSRP, $58,255. And let's see how it drives. Well, let's talk about visibility before we set off. Here's your visibility over the hood, both of the mirrors, and then throughout the rest of the rear. And let's set off. Setting off in this GMC Sierra. And all I'm gonna say is, thank goodness for climate controls and heated seats. It is windy and cold today, and it's just not exactly something that I'm used to quite yet because just a few days ago, it was like 70, 80 degrees, and now it's like 40 degrees and it's super windy. And so it, yeah, it's just a little bit of, little bit of a shock to the body. But anyways, what's not a shock is the fact that this truck actually drives really well. So uh, seat comfort's pretty good. Uh, with GM seats, they definitely are a little bit uh, firmer. So just take that into account. Um, steering, really light. Let's actually see how the acceleration is. Oh yeah. And that 5.3 gets up and moves, that's for sure. Now, you know, other than that, um, gear shift's pretty quick, pretty seamless as well. Ride quality is actually really good here with this double cab. I think I called it an extended cab for like half the video, but you guys got the point. It's all the same. Suspension with this X31 package, going over that little bump. Yeah, pretty good. Pretty solid, that's for sure. The GMC Sierra uh, still utilizes leaf springs in the rear, um, but they've been, done a pretty good job with making this just ride smooth, uh, again, despite uh, still having leaf springs. And so, yeah, let's uh, sum things up with this package. So first off, uh, I love the exterior styling on this elevation. It just has a cool sporty uh, appearance, which yeah, I think just looks absolutely fantastic. And then when it comes down to the interior, um, you know, this is definitely more of like a baseline interior for the Sierra, but I mean, still solid infotainment system. It's got nice creature comforts again, like the heated seats. And so, yeah, I think overall it's a, it's a pretty nice interior. And then, you know, when it comes down to the driving, this is really comfortable. That's smooth. Yeah, they've, they've just done a really good job with the overall set up on this and so yeah if you don't need as much space in the rear then i definitely think this double cab is worth it and you know again having the longer bed that's going to make it so it's more practical when it comes to uh, truck stuff and in today's crazy market where everything is extremely expensive this being fifty eight thousand dollars it's a lot of money but you know it's quite a bit more reasonable than some of the other stuff that I have reviewed lately. That's gonna sum things up with our video on this GMC Sierra Elevation. Again, a huge shout out and thank you to the National GMC here in American Fork, Utah for giving me some time with this truck. Check out the intro in the description down below. Ask for Dave if you have any questions. I'll see ya.